What's that? A new backdrop? Yes, it is. Welcome to my shelving unit. Hope you enjoy. Okay, great. Today, well, yesterday, really, I was thinking to myself, I've done a lot of declutters. I've just accrued a lot of makeup in the past few years. And I was wondering, like, what products have I gotten the absolute most use out of? slash maybe repurchased even, going a step above. So I'm gonna take this category by category, or possibly not, this may be one of, of one video. Uh, if this is boring, you just let me know. But I wanted to go through like category by category and say like, okay, like out of all of my highlights that have survived like all of my declutters and stuff, what have I gotten the absolute most use out of? The answer is I've gotten no use out of any of them. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I have a lot of makeup kicking around here. So anyways, these are the things that I've pulled aside that I was like, yeah, I've repurchased those, even given the fact that I have 8 billion highlights that look exactly the same in my collection. I think this could be a little fun thing for you guys to do, maybe. I don't know. Something to do with friends, family, boyfriends, pets other loved ones. A lot of people call this like shopping their stash and stuff. And I just think it's kind of fun to go back because every time I go back through my makeup collection, I'm like, oh yeah, this thing that I used to really like. So anyways, this has been a really long intro to just let you guys know that I'm, I pulled the things that I've used the most out of the highlight collection. That's what we're starting with highlights. So let's, let's do this. First and foremost, maybe I should take this like year by year. That seems like that could be the most fun. Okay, let me just quickly organize thusly. The first thing that I was like, damn, I used to use that a lot. Sun Dipped Glow Kit from Anastasia. Back in the day, man, I used to love this shit. Summer in particular was like one of my favorite highlight shades. I used it every single day and there was like nothing like it for me. I don't know why, I don't know what it was about it. I like that it's a really nice kind of like warm tone and it was really, it is super reflective, which at the time I loved so much. I wanted like a really, really intense highlight. So I loved this one. I still actually really like this color, it just applied more sparingly than I used to. The formula for me, I really like the formula a lot. I do just find that because I have so much texture that I've also built up alongside my makeup collection, acne, Looking at you, motherfucker. Because I have more texture on my face and stuff like that, I just find myself not being as comfortable with more intense kind of, especially powder highlights like that. So that's really the only reason why this one got kind of discontinued and put into the corner. But maybe I'll leave it out and maybe I'll kind of play with it a little bit more. But this is one of the few powder highlights that I've actually hit pan on. That's a feat when you're a booty guru. Another powder highlight. I actually repurchased this, so don't look at the fact that it doesn't look like it's been that used. Just remember that it's been repurchased. Urban Decay Sin. They launched this with like a million approximately blushes. They launched like, I think like maybe three or four different highlight colors, but this became one of my absolute favorite colors ever. And same thing, like I burned through an entire one of these, bought another one, and then shortly thereafter started using Freaking cream highlights, man. But dang, still, when I look at this color, it's so beautiful. So this is Summer, which is a lot more kind of goldy, and actually it's more sheer than this, wouldn't you say? But this formula, even just like looking at it on my hand, you can kind of see, I don't know if you'd be able to tell the difference, but here with this one, it's almost like you can see it's a little bit kind of patchier and looks kind of like you can see more texture with my skin, whereas this one is just like, whew, just like, Fuck man, it's so nice. I loved this highlight. I loved the formula. I don't didn't find it like annoying with my dry skin or that it looked too textured or anything like that. So this was one of my faves for a long, long time. Maybe I'll leave this one out. Maybe I'll leave them all out. Why not? Ooh, this is when I started dipping my toes into cream highlight and never went back. I used to not really be into the cream face products at all. I just felt like they were way too finicky. They were like way more annoying to apply and they didn't give enough of a different finish for me to have it be kind of worth the extra work. I feel the complete opposite now. 
Marc Jacobs glow stick was one of the real kind of like cream highlights that I actually started really, really liking. And forever, I will describe this as model skin. It just, I don't know. It was like the first kind of highlight that ever really did that shit for me. Like I just felt like I put that on and I was like, oh, Dang, like my skin's actually, I have no way of showing you. That was a weird place to put that swatch. It was the first time that I put it, something like that on my skin and I was like, oh, my skin actually looks nice. It's not like that product looks nice. My, it's my skin. This is now my skin forever. And it was really the first kind of cream highlight, but even highlight in general that made me feel that way. It's just so pretty. It's a really nice kind of like sheer formula, but it's definitely buildable. You can kind of build that up to be a pretty intense highlight. It does have kind of like a soft gold undertone to it, but it has that translucency, which is nice. So you can kind of use it on paler skin tones. You can use it on deeper skin tones as well. I don't know that I would personally use this on like deep, deep skin tones, just because it does have like a little bit of pearl that could potentially go ashy on those of you that are more deeper skin tone. I love that one. I'll always love that formula. It's just one of my faves, man. I'm kind of scared of them discontinuing this. Like I kind of wanted to buy, I kind of wanted to buy a backup of this just in case because I just have like a, a little, just a little spidey sense that maybe my boy Mark might be throwing this to the wayside and I'm not ready. I'm gonna leave that out too. I can't leave all of these out. This is craziness. I can't use this many highlights. Ooh, okay. I was still, even when I was trying out the Marc Jacobs cream stick, I was still in a phase of like really wanting intense highlights. That's where this beauty comes in. Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand, easy highlighter. This is inc Tense. Hold on. I need to like wipe my hand off to get a fresh swatch. And then maybe at the end, I'll show you all of the highlights side by side. Diligent YouTuber. So this one is a really like more intense kind of cream highlight. I'll show you what I mean. It definitely has more of a pink undertone to it than like a true gold or champagne. It still has like a little bit of a kind of beige gold shift but it is definitely a lot more pink. This one is super, super intense. It is like that kind of blinding highlight that some people might go for. You can sheer it out a little bit, but honestly not a ton. Like it really does have a lot of pearlescence to it. So it stays pretty intense even if you're trying to apply it more sparingly. Like let's say you're applying it with like a damp beauty blender or whatever. It's still pretty intense. So I really liked that one for a time got pretty low on it and then I kind of moved right out of the intense highlighter phase right before I would have kind of gone to like pick up a new one so I'm glad about that because it sat in my drawer for a very long time I mean it's pretty it's beautiful but I just don't think that life is the life for me anymore <sighs> I still was like not sure if I was gonna light creams and liquid highlights forever when I bought this. So that's why I bought the little baby size. But this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the liquid one, in the color Moonstone. And I am definitely gonna repurchase the full size of this when I'm completely out of this guy, but I've gotten a lot of use out of this. The thing that I really, really like about this formula that's a lot of highlight. Oh, I wasted it. So that's the Charlotte Tilbury one there. That is the Becca one right beside it. So it has a little bit more of a gold tone for sure. But the thing that I really like about that formula is that it's almost more of like a lotion. Oh, I didn't put any lipstick on. Well, this looks dumb. Hold on, let me get sassy. Back in business. I like that this is more kind of lotion-y because it is so, so nice on dry skin. I was pointing to the wrong side, this side. It's so nice on dry skin. It has a really nice kind of sheerness and translucency to it. You can build it up, but you can kind of make it a little bit lighter and softer if you're wearing a little bit less makeup one day kind of thing. It's just a really versatile formula. It's beautiful. It looks so nice on the skin. Out of all of these, this is crazy. I don't think I wanna go that far and say that. This is one of my favorites out of all the things that I have selected here today. But I'm not gonna say it's my favorite favorite because that would be crazy talk. Okay, we're getting kind of confused here on the timeline. 
but we're just gonna try our best. Marc Jacobs Dew Drops, this is in the color Fantasy. Originally, Marc Jacobs came out with a kind of like goldy toned version of these Dew Drops, and I didn't love it. I think I might have still been in like my powder highlight phase at that time, so it wasn't my favorite. And then they came out with their whole like coconut collection thing, and this was in there, and I was like, eh. I don't know. And at first I had actually decluttered it and like put it away like I was going to donate it. And then I can't remember why I ended up like pulling it out. I think maybe just because I was doing a video on that collection. But I tried it and I was like, what have I done? I already decluttered the gold one. I had to go back out and buy it again because this formula is so beautiful. So this is in the color Fantasy. It's more of like a rose gold. It's really, really pretty. It has kind of like a tan undertone to it. It looks almost like it'd be like a little bit too dark for my skin tone. And I probably wouldn't recommend this for anyone that's lighter than me. <laughs> I'm hard to beat though. Just because like it, it is just edging, towing the line of being a little, little too dark for me, but I really quite actually like it because it's a really different shade than a lot of other highlighters that I would use normally. And I wouldn't go for that color in a powder formula at all. Like I definitely don't think I could get away with that. This is more of a liquidy kind of formula. It's definitely not like a harder kind of cream, which I think that even that makes a difference in, in being able to have that color a little bit more wearable on my skin tone, but it's just beautiful. Like it looks super bronzy and glowy. And I just, I really, really love that one a lot. I love the formula. It wears really well. It lasts really well throughout the day. And this formula also does kind of like, dry down a little bit. I know that some people don't love liquid or cream highlights that stay sort of like tacky, wet kind of thing. This one does kind of dry down to have more of a powder finish, but not because it's a cream. Okay, I also picked up the poured version. <laughs> of Becca Moonstone, which I really like as well. This one is a lot drier. I think you can still sheer it out, but it's not as sheer, so to speak, as, um, well, but honestly, let me just put them side by side. How about that? Let me see these bad boys. Oh yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel like the lotion one, the liquid one is on the side. The cream is kind of right down the center there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see much of a difference, but for me, the lotion is a lot, I keep calling it a lotion. <laughs> Becca's gonna be like, it's not a lotion, motherfucker. The liquid one is a lot more sheer and kind of translucent for me. The poured version, the poured cream is still really beautiful. It doesn't look chunky or textured or anything like that. Like it's a, it's a stunning formula, but I would sooner kind of Go liquid if you have drier skin, if you have more like normal to possibly oily, I would sooner try that kind of poured version. It has a little bit less kind of moisture as well. This one's gonna kind of dry down a little bit more than the liquid will. The liquid will stay a little bit tackier on your face, which for me, I don't mind, but some people really, really don't like that a lot. But color is basically exactly the same. They're both beautiful formulas. I actually have repurchased this poured version as well. So this is kind of like my second round of it. It's so gross looking. <laughs> it looks like a putty in there. <laughs> Ew. Also, there's like some weird mark in there and I don't know what that is. Who knows? Okay, this is where it just really all went downhill and I was never coming back to the intense makeup life. Glossier Halo Scope in Quartz. You guys will know if you've been watching me for the past couple years, this has been a, a real love of mine. So this formula, it has kind of like a little, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but it has kind of like a little white circle in the middle and then the kind of color all the way around. This is more of like a true champagne. It definitely leans a little bit more pink rather than gold, but it, it isn't really pink or really gold. It's kind of right down the middle. Lately, I've been finding this one to look just maybe a little bit ashier than I would like. So I have been opting for some kind of warmer colors just a little bit, but on paler skin tones, beautiful. They do have some different shades. They have one that is like a lot more kind of like goldy bronze. It would probably be better suited for deeper skin tones, but 
I really, really do like this formula. It lasts really well throughout the day. It does stay a little bit more tacky if you don't like that, but it's really easy to just kind of pat on quickly with your fingers and get that really nice kind of like glowy skin situation. All about the glow now, but it's been a long time, man. I haven't been using my halo scope as much. I did repurchase this though three times. Last but certainly not least, I mean, <laughs> would it be a Sam video without it? Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. Magnifique, first chef's kiss of the video. This shit, it's supreme, it's divine, it's the best. This is one of the best formulas on the market for a liquid highlight, and I'm not being dramatic. I mean every little bit of what I just said. It's so good, it's such a versatile formula. I love wearing this underneath foundation, without foundation at all, when I'm just kind of wanting to look like I naturally have a little glow to me, but I don't have that glow naturally. I like it over top of foundation, mixed with foundation. The thing that's so great about this is that it has like absolutely no glitter to it at all. It's a lot more translucent. You can definitely build it up. It really is just incredible. It has, so this is Haloscope. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade two. It has a little bit more of a kind of gold champagne-y undertone to it, but it really, again, is a lot more neutral. If you look at these on the shelf with all the colors side by side, it almost kind of looks like a foundation at first glance, which I think is what makes this formula and this product in general so unique. I mean, it's just so obvious, of course. Why do we have gold and pink and all these kind of like weird colored highlights? Because they're fun. But it is brilliant <laughs> to have a highlight that just is like skin color basically, but it just is super radiant. It never ever looks like chunky or glittery or textured or like just too intense kind of thing. Like you're wearing an eyeshadow on your face. It is truly a skin product. Like it, it's just beautiful. I love it so much. I can't sing its praises enough. I'm gonna swatch these all side by side. You're gonna need to give me a moment. I'll be right back. The first one that we have here is the powder highlight that is Anastasia Summer. Then we have Urban Decay Sin. So you can kind of see right beside it. It's a lot more kind of like beigey champagne, not as gold as Summer. Then we had the Marc Jacobs Glow Stick um, in Spotlight. So that one is a little bit more sheer than these two. You can definitely see still has that kind of like soft white gold kind of undertone to it. Then the very intense um, Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand, which is in the shade Spotlight as well. That's weird. Really copping Marc Jacobs stees. Okay, then we have Marc Jacobs Fantasy Dew Drops, which you can see is just a completely different color from the rest of them and still looks quite dark on my arm there. More of a rose gold. Then we have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the liquid one. Right beside it, we have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. Both of these are Moonstone. This is the cream, like the poured one in the pan. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it very well, but those, to me, I don't know. I feel like I can see the difference between the two. This one's definitely a lot drier of a formula, a lot more kind of liquidy and still has a kind of like wet glow to it. Then we have Glossier Halo Scope in Quartz. So definitely more kind of going back towards pinky sort of champagne, stepping away from that gold shade. Then on the very, very end there, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade two, which is clearly the most majestic of all. All right, you guys, that is everything for me today. Those are my most used highlights. I want to know, I'm just waiting for the day that one of you guys actually answers the questions that I leave at the end of the video, but probably nobody watches that long because this shit is boring as hell. I want to know what your favorite most used highlights are and alternatively the least used. Maybe that would be fun for some negativity. I don't know. Something, something worth trying. If you guys like this video, definitely let me know if you want me to do more of them so I can keep kind of perusing my makeup collection and finding what things and stuff I've actually gotten use out of. It's rare. It happens though sometimes. <laughs> All right, you guys. I will see you next time. Peace out.